Okay. So yeah, I think we can start now. Who is willing to go first and to share us the progress of last week's? Since there are four of us, maybe Junior, Abraham, Matthew, and Yafsa. Who is willing to go first? And for the for those of you who are not able to the presentation as usual, you can write on the chat box. Okay, Abraham, you can start. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Abraham. Okay, okay. Uh, last week, uh, I, I didn't uh, progress much. I was uh, only able to uh, complete task one and uh, uh, progress to most of the task in uh, in uh, task two so i i did the, the data analysis i merged the, the data sets and i do some encoding normalizing just uh, i have prepared the data for for the model in the task one i i successfully completed that uh, and then uh, as it, it's suggested on the challenge document I selected uh, uh, some uh, martial learning uh, models from uh, a skip learn uh, library. Uh, and I selected the logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, and the uh, gradient boosting uh, models. And I I, I build the uh, I build using this uh, this um, models and I, I completed the I the training uh, now I am uh, I am evaluating uh, their performance. I have also built a model using uh, deep learning models using uh, two. I used uh, the the list game and uh, multiple. I have used two models in particular models. So I completed building and now I am evaluating. evaluating. So this is my, my progress so far. Uh, I know I, have, I haven't progressed uh, much, but uh, since I have almost three days, including today, I I am planning to do more for for the coming um, days. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, Abraham. Uh, meanwhile, I think I it was not very clear for me. Maybe it's my network. I'm not sure if it is for everyone. Uh, okay, it is a good progress. Maybe we're able to implement uh, to use a milk form. Yeah, as you have mentioned, you just um, had tried different types of models and implement them. So have you tried to track or to log your, uh, yeah, to track your models, save your models and log your um, data using a mail? Hello, hello, yes. Uh, I didn't actually use the email, email logs uh, tools. Uh, yeah, today I, I'm planning to, to use uh, to use them. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to say? Um. Not really. Uh, it's a good progress. Um. Yeah. As you said, you're gonna finish it this week um so yeah the, the logging email flow and also don't forget about the endpoints and if it's also possible you could create a front end for it uh that that would be awesome yeah that's just a comment thank you Okay, since as I have mentioned before, since it's going to be two, 
challenge. So yeah, just addressing the presentation or your progress uh, just by word of mouth, like Abraham did, it's also acceptable. So, uh, and also not only that, okay, but not only that, but we, we're going to expect a more prepared and uh, detailed presentation of the two weeks, uh, the, the final, uh, your final work by next week. So for today, it is just okay to share your opinion. Junior, you, you've just raised your hand. Good morning, everyone. I'm Audubon. Yes, you are. Okay, can, can I share my screen so that I can sure, show yeah. you guys my progress? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see my, my screen? Hello? Yeah, we can, we can see it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was waiting for your confirmation. So, uh, the first thing that I did uh, was the, the EDA process. So, the data overview is, is uh, the full data as C CSCV, the IP address to country CSCV, and the credit card to CSCV. This is our data sets. After that, I was able to load the data and for inspection, I handled the missing values. Uh, I cleaned the data. After that, I conducted an, an EDA process. Uh, the first one is univariant analysis, which one, which, which is class distribution. Uh, as you can see, this is the class distribution between fraudulent and non-fraudulent transactions. So we have class zero, as you can see, and class one. Then the second one is the purchase value distribution. The chart value is, as you can see, which is skewed to the right. Then the bivariant analysis is uh, on the purchase value based on classes, as you can see, using bar charts. Then I did the analysis on the geo location, which is by integrate by converting the IP address into integers and then merging it to the IP address data. So I did that. After that, uh, I conducted feature engineering. So this is the new feature engineered features that I came up with. After that, I normalized and scaled the the data. Then I encoded some categorical features and then categorical features. Uh, for categorical features, it was encoded using one hot coding so that they can be prepared for the machine learning model. So the find the insight and the findings are on the project, which is on the ADA, is that there was some class imbalance. The significance class imbalance suggests that the special technique techniques, like there was some over samples, maybe there were some under sample. That's why we had this kind of chart. Uh, this will happen if there was some over sampling or under sampling on the data set. Uh, then the purchase value, as you can see, is a little bit higher, uh, which could be useful for featuring for the modeling training. Uh, there was geological pattern. Mapping IP addresses to countries can provide insights into geo, uh, geographical pattern of the frauds. Then uh, this was all the EDA analysis. After that, uh, I tried to build the model. Let me show you the model code. Uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah. We yes. Can hear. Okay. Okay. And so let me go to my base code. So this is the uh, script that I used for building. So these are the libraries that I used. Then I imported the email flow. So I set the UR uh, address so that I can uh, I can check it on the browser. 
So I named the experiment ML flow for fraud detection. Then uh, I tried to launch the server. So when I will launch the server, the result, uh, oh, the, okay, let me show you the windows. The email flow windows. Ah, this is, by the way, the email flow uh, windows that will pop up when we start the server. So let me go back to the base code. So I load the data set uh, and convert the data time string into data uh, date object. So I extracted some useful information on the data time, uh, date time. Uh, then I try to split the data for the training. Uh, then I try to process pre-process for numerical and categorical features. Then I try to okay uh, choose the models. I used this five models: uh, logistic regression, decision tree, random tree, uh, gradient boosting, and MLP. So I, after that, I try to train the model using the pipeline. Uh, I also integrated the ML flow. So after it, it finishes, it finishes the training. It will show the result on the ML flow, as you can see. This one. This one is for logistic regression. And this, as you can see, this one. And this one is the value for the accuracy on the logistic regression. So. After this script run, completed training the model. So the result that I got from the from this analysis was uh, the model. This one is the model, the decision tree, logistical regression, random forest, gradient boosting, MLP, as you can see, the accuracy, the precision, the recall, and the F1 score. I got all this analysis. So let me get back to the finding and the result is this one. Mm, so overall on task two, which is model building and training, I prepared the data, feature and target separation. Then uh, I split the train test. Uh, I, I post the data set was split into training and testing, which is 70% for training and 30% for testing. So data pre-processing was implemented on this project. I selected this models for the training. So the result that I got from the training was this one, as you can see. And uh, this one is for the credit uh, for fraud data. This one is for credit card, uh, credit card data results. So the insight that I got from this analysis was for fraud data, which is for e-commerce transaction. Uh, logistic regression performed fully with zero recurrent F1 score indicated it was unable to identify any fraudulent transaction. Decision three showed moderate performance with balanced precision and recall. Random forest, which is outperformed other models with the highest F1 score, make it the best performer for this data set. And then the gradient boosting struggled with recall, resulting in a low F1 score despite high precision. And then the final one, LML, MLP, demonstrated good performance, but was slightly less effective on random forest. This is the insight that I got from the trading on the data set, which is the fraud data. Then the model result that I got from the credit card data was, which is the bank transaction. Logistic regression showed reasonable performance, but not the best among the, all the other models. Then decision tree and random forest performed ex excellently with random forest achieving the highest F1 score. And then gradient boosting struggled with recall, resulting in a low F1 score despite high precision. And the final MLP showed recall, leading it to a lower F1 score. So, in the conclusion, for fraud detection in e commerce transaction, random forest is the best effective model. And then for the bank transaction, Random Forest also performed the best, uh, followed uh, closely by decision tree. This is the conclusion that I got from the model building and evaluation. And now I'm trying to 
uh, use the model explanability using Sharply and Lime. Uh, I'm waiting on the progress on that. I already wrote the program, the script. I'm trying to do this after this session. So this is my progress so far. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Junior. It sounds like you've accomplished task one and task two very well, and you're about to proceed to the other tasks. So, yeah. Uh, Matthias, is that equation or is that equation for Junior? No. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was a really good presentation and good progress in my side. Yeah, yeah, do you have anything to add? Um, no, it's it, it looks good. Uh, I think he can accomplish all the tasks by the end of this week. So yeah, good work. Yeah, okay. So we can proceed to Matthias, I guess. Matthias, you can start. Not, uh... I think the time is going, uh, I don't have much time, but I'll try to explain it as much as fast I can. And let me share my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, it's visible. Okay. Okay. I will try to go fast, uh, like uh, last time the project was uh, for detection in e commerce and uh, bank transactions. Uh, I started like like last time. I started from my uh, project directory structure here uh, for now. It looks like this for the task I have done, and then now I'm working. Uh, I have I have worked on uh, ED analysis. Uh, the first uh, thing was I done was uh, uh, pre-processing the data. Uh, the, uh, I write the script. I, I follow as much I have tried to follow. Uh, or gain the modular uh, code. Uh, therefore, I have, here is uh, my uh, data processing code that uh, will draw uh, 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 the handle missing values, uh, remove duplicates, and uh, correct the data types, and then normalizing the scale uh, data set in code using the uh, git uh, do miss uh, from pandas uh, then uh, i've tried uh, to merge the data uh, here is my script for merging the data that changes uh, the the uh, ip to uh, and after that merge the data uh, to my uh, from the, uh, so that i can generate for data with country uh, like you see here uh, I've generated this uh, CSV uh, file. Uh, here is my uh, notebook for uh, for the for the data analysis part for EDA, including the EDA part. Here is a explanation of each, each code that will uh, start from the uh, custom modules uh, from from storing the the libraries and um, from up to custom modules. Then loading the data set. Then checking missing values in most of uh, the data set uh, didn't have uh, missing values. Then after that, I have initialized data uh, data preprocessing class that I've uh, right uh, in the script in the source file. Then uh, after that, here is uh, after uh, missing values handled handled, and uh, after that, I have uh, tried to move, uh, remove duplicates. Here is uh, where and uh, uh, try to see the data type of the uh, Field. Then uh, what I've done was uh, doing ED analysis, uh, univariant analysis for purchase values. Uh, that uh, looks like here. Uh, and after that, I have done univariant analysis for distribution of purchase value for for the date detection. Then I have done distribution of uh, purchase value for uh, then uh, through the transactions. And uh, after that, I have done. Uh, by bivariant analysis for purchase uh, value by class. Uh, then I have turned. Uh, I have done uh, to try to see distribution of IPRS ranges uh, that are low, lower bound IPRS and upper bound IPRS. Uh, then I have tried to see top twenty countries distribution in the IPRS. That uh, like you see here, uh, the most of the IPRS were uh, United States. Uh, 
then I have to, I have tried to save the the CSA, the clean data uh, the pre-process data to to CSV file uh, naming them uh, process data so that I can give to my model the process pre-processed in the encode data. Then uh, I have uh, in touch too, I've tried to build uh, models uh, for my uh, data set. Uh, I use uh, this five like uh, junior uh, build. I have tried to select uh, five of them and build uh, a model. Uh, I've tried like here speaking the data, then initializing them, the model, then training the data. And uh, I've tried also about it, uh, uh, hyperparameter tuning. I've tried also hyperparameter and uh, here was uh, the accuracy I have got for the Titian tree. I have got this accuracy uh, for uh, fraud in the class. Uh, and uh, I have, like you see here, I have for the precision record F1 score uh, and uh, the interpretation decision, the high precision, but a low uh, record for fraud uh, transaction, like you see here. I have right uh, all, the, all the interpretation for them. And uh, the recommendation, uh, the conclusion I reached was uh, linear regression is not suitable due to inability to detect fraud classes. Decision tree and the random forest performs well with high precision, but needed in performance uh, recording. Uh, gradient boosting in balanced performance, but a lower uh, record it, it shows. Then I have also tried to you uh, to. I've also uh, run the ML uh, runs, uh, and the ML, uh, the ML, uh, the ML uh, module. Uh, I have tried uh, to run it, it, it doesn't, it, it haven't worked on my local machine, so I used the local collab and I run uh, on it, and uh, I've also able to set up the ML flow of the ML run. Uh, uh, I'm currently working on body expandability. Uh, I'm currently working on that. Uh, I have a little bit um, struggle with uh, tracking the logs because I'm currently using Google Colab and uh, uh, after that, uh, the file I have uh, generated from Google Colab, I have to download and put it on my folder. It's a little bit uh, too much uh, to, to do with. Uh, I also run the email. Uh, Email on my Google Colab and I didn't uh, download in the accountable to download all the files, the email run uh, files and put it on my project. Uh, that was a challenge I was faced. Thank you. Okay, Matthias, thank you. Maybe if I understand you were saying right, uh, you were not able to implement a mail flow or like, how were you not able to? Use it? I was I was able to implement the email flow, but I was using Google Colab in the the project where the email folder or the email uh, uh, the repo was uh, created on my Google Colab. Uh, so I have to uh, I have to download and put it on my project because my local machine can't able to run the email flow uh, module uh, the email flow repo. Yeah, okay, I understand. I was just wondering why you you were not able to run a mail flow in your local server using just base code. You were supposed to be able to do that. I mean. Yes, my uh, local machine is saying that it's not uh, the the allocated memory is not uh, enough. Like uh, okay. say when I run the the, the the notebook. Okay, understand. So yeah, maybe nothing. Do you have anything to say? Nothing. No. Okay. So, Matthias, thank you for presenting. It was a good job and uh, good work. And we hope you are, we will, you will be able to accomplish all the tasks by the end of this week too. Is there any other? Presentation or anyone? Maybe I'm sorry, you're the only one left. Are you able to speak? Okay, in the care chain submitted. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, since you have your uh, full week, uh, I mean, since you have another week, so you will, will be able to accomplish all the tasks by this week. So we hope that maybe Emilia, you have joined us uh, next. If there's anything that you want to say or some announcement here. Emilia. Uh, yes, it's ready. Yeah. Uh, hello, I was just wondering if you have to say or yeah. We can uh, I I don't have any announcement, I think. Yeah, always good. Thank you guys for the good presentations. Uh I think we meet in the CBS. Yeah. That's all I can say. And have okay. a good week. Okay. Yeah. Thank you everyone for presenting and have a good week too. Bye. Bye.